Hello again, my name is Jeff, and thank you for joining me on my latest restoration from Diecast Powder Coat and Restoration. Today we, we will be restoring a Matchbox Leyland Tanker in BP livery number 32C. Now the first problem I had today was that the memory card from the camera had fallen out, which I didn't realise. So I've already drilled out the rivets and taken it apart. So I do apologise for the first part missing, as there's always something that goes wrong. But the tank comes apart and the silver base and the glass. I've also used a deburring tool on the end of the axles to remove the wheels. So the first thing to do, take it to the media blasting booth. So it's just about able to show you still. As I say, no vacuum cleaner on this one again today. So just about to see what's going on. Okay, now back for media blasting. Okay, there's the chassis and the tank. So the first thing we always do now is give it the quick wire brush treatment and try and polish it up a little bit. And then the usual rub down with acetone. And then into the oven for about 10 minutes at 180 degrees just to burn out the impurities in the metal work. And whilst that's cooking, we'll give the glass wheels and silver base area a good clean. I'll just show you the one wheel. Uh, by the time you've seen eight, it'll be about an hour's time. And back from the oven now, another quick wipe over with some acetone. So we can start powder coating now. I'm using the Electrostatic Magic Mid Green. Very light dusted once again, so we don't lose any of the detail. And for the tanker, that's Electrostatic Magic Gloss White. I found that doing white and cream are the worst colours. I do hate doing them. They seem to take just a little bit more powder and as they go on rather thinly otherwise. Okay, both into the oven now for 10 minutes at 180 degrees. And now back from the oven, and I'm very pleased with it. It's come out very well. And so is the tank. So I'm now sanding the axles, trying to polish them up a little bit. And 
we can start putting it back together again. The glass is in there. The plastic chrome base. And now just cutting down the false fake rivets for size. Once again, I do apologise, it's my hands in the way again. But just putting in the front rivet now, which holds on the silver base. And now fitting the rivet for the uh, one that holds the tank on. The wheels I fitted uh, earlier, which uh, I didn't have to re burr them, uh, I just tap them with a hammer and they go on. I don't take too much of the burr off, so we don't have to re burr them. So just pushing the rivets in now with my dentistry tool. And whilst that's drying, I'm just going to go over with some pledge revive it just to liven up the wheels a little bit. Okay, so the final music has been playing now for a few seconds, so we're less than two minutes from the end. So it's now time for the decals, which I did have. Now this is now four days later. The, the uh, decals I got were actually stickers, which, uh, which was fine, but it made it look very toyish when I looked at these stickers. So I waited four days. The new stickers have arrived. These are the transfer, auto transfer decals. So I think it looks a little bit better uh, with, with those on. And with the rear and the other side done, that's it, she's finished. So let's have a little look of what she used to look like. The actual bodywork, the green part, wasn't too bad at all. The tanker has seen better days. Obviously the decals are missing. But generally pretty much okay. I was also lucky with the window glass that was in good condition as well. So let's have a little look of what she used, or what she does look like now. Lovely new mid green paintwork. The wheels have been dipped in or painted with Pledge Revive It. The new white paint on the tanker has improved it immensely, and we now have the BP decals on the side. Well, I hope you did enjoy this video. Thank you to all my subscribers and anyone else. Please subscribe and I hope to see you again next time.